Dead Man's Tale. Long, short, they all end the same way. Dead Man's Tail is the latest exotic weapon Bungie has to offer us, and let me tell you now, it's real good. And I don't mean just the gun itself, it's everything involving the quest to get this weapon. From the dungeon design, the eerie ambience, the lore, the puzzles, the death traps, down to the boss fight, which felt fresh, challenging, and at times, genuinely terrifying. Oh no 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 no! Even though there's no real death penalties. That is unless you're doing the master version to get the catalyst because there's a timer, but apart from that, a really fun quest. The gun itself looks truly exquisite, the design alone is worthy of its exotic status. In the past, Bungie has offered various Tex Mechanica themed weapons like the Last Word, the Prospector and Huckleberry, but this 120 RPM scout rifle is, I think, the best looking gun out of the bunch. All Tex Mechanica guns feel different, they feel fun to use, and this gun is no exception. The sight, the reloading, and the signature Tex Mechanica flip, and that satisfying sound you hear after you pull the trigger closely followed by how is he not dead? I, uh, I'm so done with this game. <coughs> Excuse me. Cranial Spike. Chaining precision hits, grants bonus damage, and quickens reload speed. The perk plays right into what a scout rifle does best, and personally, I like weapons that reward the player for being a sharpshooter. With the base impact of 67, it hits like a tank. Which means, when you do get a full stack of cranial spikes, the gun can be a pretty dang good DPS option in a lot of PvE activities. In contrast, most of the other PvE exotic scout rifles nah, just lack that bit of punch. They feel more like a... a gentle tickle. Know what I mean? Tickle. While seeing bullets getting loaded individually can feel pretty zen, I'm still going to recommend using anything that can speed up or outright remove that lengthy animation. Honestly, it gets old real quick. One, two, three. Four, five. Oh my god! So slap some reload mods or use an exotic like Ophidian Aspect when you're using this gun. Hang on a second, Pork. That sounds too good to be true. I feel like there's a big catch coming up. Maybe? Honestly, I don't feel like there's a catch, but there is a learning curve, specifically aiming. There is very little visual assistance when it comes to aiming this weapon, in fact, under certain lighting conditions, it's near impossible to aim at all. As a result, it's quite easy to miss that precision hit. The key here is to line your sight so that this part is on your crit target, and also avoid engaging your enemy against a bright background because you won't see sh**. Just like the recently resurrected Hawkmoon, repeating the presage quest will get you a random raw version of this weapon. The perk pool is actually pretty reasonable. For instance, you have 4 pull and 4th times to charm for PvE, killing wind, snapshot, moving target for PvP, and a variety of stocks and barrels available to further enhance your range, stability, handling, etc. It's almost like Bungie is trying to be nice to us. What are they trying to do? I mean, it's gotta be a troll, right? But no, it gets better. The exotic catalyst, which increases the rate of fire when you hip fire, at first doesn't sound that attractive until you see the part that says removes hip fire accuracy penalties. <gasps> the penalty is referring to the decreasing accuracy when you fire any weapon repeatedly. Some people also call this effect bloom. The catalyst removes this effect when you hit fire, and the bullets will travel as accurately as they can, which means if you do miss, it'll be entirely your fault. You. Yeah, just you. The concept of an alternate fire mode that doesn't give synergy to its intrinsic perk was a bit strange to me at first. After all, most catalysts in the game are about amplifying the weapon's characteristics, and here we have Dead Man's Tale's catalyst that's clearly not doing that. To add to the confusion, I normally pair this weapon with a sidearm, so I hardly find myself needing to hipfire at all. But then I realized, I'm looking at this all wrong. The catalyst doesn't need to complement the intrinsic perk because it doesn't need to, it's already a solid long range weapon. Instead, it's giving us a different playstyle option, a mode that we can switch on demand, just like Symmetry or Devil's Ruin. In this case, Hipfire allows you to cover that mid-range, grey area with increased accuracy that very few scout rifles can even compete. Having said that, Hipfire aiming is still tricky, so I strongly recommend to practice this in PvE before diving into PvP. Final verdict, this scout rifle isn't just a fun exotic, it's deadly in the right hands. It's also a big change in the right direction within the entire line of exotic scout rifles. Think about Mida, Jade Rabbit, Skyburner's Oath and Polaris Lands. We hardly ever feel a need to use them. The perks sometimes feel almost like a gimmick. On the other hand, Dead Man's Tail offers a basic intrinsic perk, a damage multiplier that is universally good in any content, and that is what makes this scout rifle 
better than the others. That and the three taps in PvP is so crisp. Bungie, I like this a lot. Phew, that was a long video, but we made it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh no, it's time to say goodbye again. But wait, I have news. In my last video, a subscriber really wanted me to do a Grafton Lands review, so I'm pleased to say that the review of G-Lands will be available tomorrow. So if you don't want to miss that review, just and that really is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions on what I should review next, you can leave it in the comment section or you can get in touch with me on Twitter. I'll see you in my next episode.